Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody. I'm Amanda. That sure sounded like royalty-free music if I ever did hear it. Yeah, it did. I feel like we've done that one before. Possibly. Summer vibin'. Oh, summer vibin'. Yeah, we we be vibin'. We be vibin'. What's going on this week, Amanda? Um, you no, got some new sunglasses? Snowing. No, those are old sunglasses. It's old just a, aviator it's just my, sunglasses. It's just now my thing, apparently. It's your thing. Yep. Aviator Amanda. Aviator Amanda. Uh, it's snowing, so that's it's fun. Snowing in springtime. April. Hey, hey, hey 420 is coming up next week, hey? <gasps> that's right. We're going to have to do a very special episode for 420. I think we should with all of our 420, with all of our group chat friends. Our group chat friends. I still have my 420 supplies from last year, so I am ready to go. I think the rest of us will probably actually re-up on some fresh stuff that isn't expired. <laughs> yeah, uh, so stay tuned. this is now a, a yearly tradition that we started last year where yeah. um, on our Patreons, we post a, a 420 episode where we just have our, our favorite podcast friends and co-hosts call in and... I don't even really remember what we talked about yeah, last we need year. To, we need to figure out an actual outline. It really kind of well, crept I, up I mean, I have a there. couple things that we're going to talk about. I know that you and Nick are going to perform the best song from oh, High School I Musical. We to do that. What yeah. I've been looking for. Do, 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 but we're going to do it in the Miranda voice. Yes, in the Miranda Sings voice, which we'll is We'll probably do like a favorite. verse and a chorus, and then it'll lose its novelty. And then, I sh- let me go look back at our list here. I think we need to talk about Positively Awesome Isaac a little bit. Oh, we will. You guys, check out on TikTok, <laughs> Positively Awesome Isaac. We are big fans, but we are very concerned that we have like a, a momager situation going on. Yeah, he, they're currently at Disneyland, and uh, we've been following the progress. Yeah, we're on Isaac's side. We're rooting for Isaac, but yeah, again, I don't We're always know. on Isaac's side. But jump in, especially if you're going to listen to our 420 episode. I think we'll have some conversations about that. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to read the email that me and Nick got when we did Squirrel Friends Cocktail Hour. We got Very this complimentary. Email. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh-huh. Real nice. I still have Reese's cup on my list, and I don't know why. Reese's cup. I, Reese's I still don't cup. know what that refers to. If anyone remembers why I would have written that down, please Two let me know. Two girls, one cup? Ew, I'm not watching that. <laughs> that I'm not doing. Yeah, I also I'm wrote down. That to you. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I wrote down that we are going to pull up some clips from the Safety Kids soundtrack circa 1983 and some cartoon all-stars, a Canadian. It's not Canadian. It's um, oh. it's cartoon all-stars to the rescue. And it's a 30 minute long that for some reason I had on video. My dad had taped it off TV. Not even because I think that my parents were trying to, like, worry about me doing drugs. Just like, oh, here's a cartoon for Amanda. Oh. This will give her something to watch when because I was, like, such a latchkey kid. A little um, drug-free a, action. Yeah, and it's all of mm. the it's all of the cartoon all-stars. Michelangelo's in there. Alf. Mm. Uh, like, Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, but you don't need to give his last name. When you say well, Michelangelo, yeah, in case oh, people you know what you're talking, talking about. about. The artist. Yeah, and they all help a boy to not do not do, do drugs, not smoke drugs. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah. So, so we got an action-packed <laughs> Yeah. Episode. Yeah. We'll tell so some we'll... stories. We'll have a grand old time. Yes. But um, uh, speaking of good times this week, we watched the... Last episode in the finale tell-all reunion of Netflix, yeah. The Ultimatum. What'd you think? I I said this to you yesterday. Uh, I have an I have a psycho ex, who we call Bacon Fingers. Who yep. I mean, worst person to walk the earth. He, and I said to well, Jody, can we just I, say the Bacon Fingers once and for all? We call him Bacon Fingers because he convinced Amanda. That humans eat bacon raw. It's like a thing you can do. Like a sushi. Like you eat sushi, yeah. raw fish. Like, yeah, you can eat bacon raw. And that's how crazy he is. Like, he made you think you were crazy for being like, no, you cook <laughs> bacon. That's not the definition of gaslighting. I don't know what it is. Like, he but, thought it was uh, like lunch meat. Like, oh, you just like 
peel a piece of bacon yeah. out and just watch a whole bunch of it. like a noodle just right down your throat got yeah, it i texted jody i think i hate vanessa lachey more than i hate bacon fingers i mean she really is terrible she kind she, of I, gives me like kate goslin vibes totally and you know who i think also thinks she's terrible nick, nick lachey, <laughs> nick lachey. <laughs> He looks miserable. Mis- it, like I've never seen a more emasculated man sitting there. This is more emasculating than uh, Gino being called out for masturbating. Oh my god! Too much. Right? Like Gino looked less emasculated than yeah. Nick Lachey looked this entire time. Yeah, she I mean, he, sucks. Oh, she's I really annoying. Hate her. She's an I feel abhorrent like, person. I feel like everyone knows that couple. That, like, if you get together in your neighborhood or whatever, your group of friends where you go out and it's just that one couple that the wife is just a little too loud and annoying. And I feel like people probably think I am that wife. No. But I talk about Dave like that behind his back because, again, I was raised with manners. Yes, like, yeah, my parents taught me well. Um, I mean, it's it's just so... I mean, number one is she brings everything back to herself. And it's like, hey, the show's not about you. No one cares about your relationship. You and first of all, they were dating like uh, 20 years ago or something. Right. Yeah. So let's that's in the past. But then it's always like nickel had the lasagna with no meat. And also when we were dating. He yeah. took my phone. He stole it's the passwords. The, uh, Kelly and Ryan from The Office, where, where he's like, I don't like ketchup. She God, goes, you yes. do like ketchup. He loves ketchup. Yes. <laughs> yes. He loves ketchup. And when she's like, oh, yeah, he he took my phone and he knew the password or something. He's like, no, I didn't. He's like, yeah, you did remember. And I'm like, that was a really good password. Aren't I funny, ladies? <laughs> she is on track within the next 10 years to be on a franchise of Housewives. Ew, she wishes. She, but she, but like, she is the perfect candidate for that. Like, and she would, she would do it in a fucking New York minute. Listen, I don't think he even ever wanted to do this show, but she no, was like, can, he doesn't this say is... anything on it. But can't you there. see this argument at home where she's like, I gave up my career to like have kids and raise the babies, and like now is my time. I want to go back and I want to work, Nick. You got to do like, math. You support him. me. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's like a, now it's time to let me shine a little bit. And he's well, like, how, okay, I, fine. You, I guarantee you there were discussions like, well, I can just do it myself without Nick. And they're like, no, we need Nick. <laughs> Nick's the famous and likable like, Because, you know, it's like a couple show, so we want both of you. Yeah. Well, Definitely both with, of like, you. couple goals. Yeah. Yeah. Because you For guys sure, just, you, the chemistry between you two is, like, electric. We oh, want man, you to they, inspire you the other they, couples. They just want to tear each other's clothes off the whole time. Can't you oh, tell? it's hot he, and sexy. The way he oh, looks he at her, Amanda. It. The way he just looks at her, like, wow. I life. feel like when I picture him in this reunion, he's just sitting there, like, with his legs kind of spread. And he's uh-huh. kind of, like, leaned over, just with hands, his head down. Just, yeah, like, his just hands like, holding hands crane. Hands clasped. Yeah. Like, almost, almost twiddling his thumbs. Uh-huh. Here's the just church. Like, here's the steeple. Right. Yeah, let's just, let's... <laughs> Wind this out. And at one point, the part where I really wanted her to just like, like be gone from this Shut earth, up. like collapse into dust, dust, uh-huh. like the Avengers. Um, she, uh, who was it? Who's the girl that looks like Maya? See, I, was, I already forget everyone's name. Maya. Oh, so you agree? She does look like Maya. I actually, right. yeah. As I was, that's not who I was thinking of, but I do agree that she does look like Maya. Okay. What's her name? Ray. Ray announces that she's like, yeah, I had a relationship with a woman. And- <gasps> oh, you did. Oh, we are so proud of you. She goes, look at you. You're glowing. And Ray's like, thanks. Oh, I thought she said that to Madeline. You're glowing. <gasps> uh, Madeline. No, no, no. She's she pregnant. said to oh. Ray, you're glowing. I mean, because her ovaries are like on fire right now. Right, babe? <laughs> right, babe. Right, babe. And he's like, oh, my God. Yeah, God. Get out, Nick. Get out. I, I mean, they're going to be divorced within 10 years. They're no already like five years past their expiry date. She's so fucking annoying. And that's why he didn't want to marry you, Vanessa, because you're That's annoying. why you had to give him an ultimatum. And oh, by the way, ultimatums are never a cute story. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
Remember when we broke up and we went to therapy and I was like, oh, I have to listen to him. And then it's just like happily ever after. Right, babe? And she her hand is always on his knee. Yeah. Even the cover, you know, like the cover publicity photos or whatever for the show. She is always like gripping onto him like he's mine, ladies. And he's like. <sighs> Do you know that he is 49, though? Like he looks good. I believe in his 40s. I think he's got to do something different with his hair. Not that guys can really do that much with I'm their team, hair. I'm team but... Lachey, though, right now. Team Nick. Oh, my God. Between the two of them. She yeah, is. Yeah, I feel bad. And I still love him that the, he did the mass Singer and he committed to that pig thing. He's just exhausting. Yeah, and he is exhausted. Oh, you know another yeah. real fun part with her is that when they get, they're like, Oh my God, Madeline, you're pregnant. Here's a gift. So they hand them the gift and Colby like doesn't know how to open it. So he kind of tears the bow oh, off Oh, Madeline. The yeah. She like takes the bow off. Yeah. And then Vanessa's like, I think you can just open the top of the box. And she, they're like, okay. Well, they just figured that out like as they were doing it. So just settle down. Yeah. And. Calm down. Okay, we'll, we'll kind of get to all this stuff. But okay. when uh, she's like, oh, do you guys know what you're having? And then they saw a girl and she's like, oh, a girl. Well, here's a gift because someone told us that it was a girl. I'm like, okay, you suck so at you, your you, job. You just admitted how fake you are. Yeah. God, <laughs> terrible. All right. So let's just kind of quickly go through the couple. So we find out that, okay, well, we knew that uh, Skeletor face and. Alexis. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. She's so fucking annoying. And yes, she is but... so jealous that Madeline is pregnant. She's seething. Um, But before we get... Okay, so they were engaged. They were off the show. The first couple that we see come together is Randall and Shanique. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought we were just going to talk about the tell-all, but you're right. There is a whole other episode. That episode Well, I'm just like the ending of that episode. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to get into it. But yeah, so Randall and... Yeah, they stay together. Well, he proposes. I was shocked, but... Even before he did that, in my mind, I was like, oh, well, I mean, even if they stay together, they're definitely breaking up. She's they're not meant like, to be together. They just Like aren't. I said before, she's the type of girl that's never said anything funny or witty in her life. Not yeah. because she's beautiful, but, it, but like because she is so beautiful, she's never had to form any personality she wants someone just person i think yeah i I don't think that they're good together i think he's kind of just like a happy go lucky that's not the right phrase but you know what i mean like he's just like an optimistic whatever guy and she's so well what do you mean by that no forget it no i'm done i'm going to talk about it um and that we find out she's not a fun person no no and i don't like what she wore to this engagement thing. Like, it was a little too dressy for down on the farm. I actually really loved what Madeline wore. I thought she looked so beautiful. Oh, she yeah, she looked great against, for both She things. had a perfect tan against the dress colors, and I was very mm-hmm. impressed with that. I could, yeah. I could appreciate that. Also, um, why are all the proposals, like, in, like, the Blair Witch Project? Semi-different. Woods? Like, it's the same farm, but one's behind the barn, <laughs> one's next yeah. to it, one's in it. One's yeah, right Randall. in the middle of the fucking woods. Yeah, and it looked hot. The only one who got a breeze was Madeline and Colby. Yeah, they did. That That's what I would have needed. Like, it's just yeah, a Matt. big turbine fan just yeah. blowing right at me. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so then, okay, so they get engaged, and then we see um, Jake and April, and uh, yeah. they end up breaking up. This was a. Uh... Rough to watch. It was it was April's weird. Like, no, it's fine. And awkward. No, it's good. No, it's good. I feel great. No, no, it's good. Bye. Okay, bye. Thanks. Bye. I think he's just. She is. Uh, I don't want to say she's mature, but she's just got a more. Yeah, maybe more. Future minded. I don't know. They just don't I'm glad, go I'm together. Glad, and I love that at the reunion, she's like, "No, I'm in a great relationship." And I first seen my like, and like, you can tell that she probably actually is in a good relationship. And Jake is very aware of this. Uh, and yeah, he probably kind of hates it. I like both of them. I couldn't be friends with either one of them, but like, I like them. Like, I don't think they're bad people. They're just like whatever. Yeah. So they break up, and then Jake. By the way, why is he wearing like a purple eggplant suit? Is this coming back now? It was terrible. Oh, God. He meets up with Ray 
like you said, in the middle of the forest. In the middle of the forest. And also, she at the last... Her I mean, outfit. We've all, uh, what was her outfit? Um, she was wearing like a weird wrap, wrap, <laughs> wrap dress and like these clear flat sandals. And they're like tromping through the woods towards each other. And then, of course, like, then he's like, I have two tickets to paradise. It totally was. It totally was. It, it, they just look busted and it was just and she we've all been in this state before i feel where you're you just got because she just broke up with her ex-boyfriend right so, zay. with zay and so she's in that like desperation mode like i need to get right into a relationship right now and that's why she met with him last episode so like she is ready to say yes to whatever the fuck this guy proposes. sure so. yes and also, I thought this was smart, though, that he didn't just propose marriage and just, oh, like, God, yeah. let's no, go on a trip dumb. and get to know each other better. Yeah. So fine. Kissy, kissy. They just both seem very boring. We talked about yeah. this before, like, eh. Like, sure, they could have a relationship, but they could have a relationship yeah. with someone else, too. They're just, yeah. bleh, whatever. Um, and then we have, uh, was it just Colby and Madeline? Was that it? Yeah. Were we missing anyone? Look, we are. No, because there was only th- we only got to see three because two of the other yes. couples broke up. Okay, so they like got in a fight on their last night during the dinner where like they went into it like super positive, like yeah, we're gonna be together. And then she doesn't like that he didn't fess up to what he did wrong. Right, and I don't all know her if... friends hate him too, which is not a great. Well, sign. the friends need to shut up. They are super <laughs> immature because they haven't realized you can't do this with your friend's significant other until you are. 100% sure that person uh-huh. is like dead, they gone, move done. states. Yep. Bad, bad decision. Um, so they get in a fight. I don't like Colby. I think he needs a haircut so badly, especially yeah, in that tele. I think he's smarmy. It's, it reminds me of Marcel on Top Chef. Like he, it's just <gasps> thick oh, in the yeah, back. I can see that. He needed Marcel. to cut it out on the sides. But, oh, I mean, I don't think he's a great guy, but I was kind of on his side. Like, she wasn't sure she wanted to be with him. She's like, I could be with other guys. And yeah, I think Randall's hot. And I'm, like, super sexual. And I just don't know if Colby's the one. Like, I'm open to being with other people. But then she didn't like it when he was open to other people. Yeah. And I understand, yeah, I understood what he was doing, where he's like, I didn't have a connection with April. And yeah. this was our, like, three-week if chance, this was our to chance explore other shit. And she did so hook up with good. Randall. Yeah. So what what did you think and was going to happen And I don't know why here? that was never acknowledged at the tell-all. Like, oh, how did you, there's a so lot like, of things that yeah. were not acknowledged on that tell-all. Like, come on. Give us what we want yeah, here. Come we on, Vanessa. Want to... Yeah, Vanessa. Get... They probably had to edit it out because Vanessa had to tell her hilarious story oh, well, about their Nick were cell dating. phones. Which I call um, bullshit. I don't even think there were cell phone passwords at that time. <laughs> Well, anyway, Colby and what's her face? Madeline. Uh, Madeline get married right there on the spot. So, yeah. Um, Okay, so that leads us to the reunion where she comes out, loved her dress. She looked glowing. I thought she looked great. Well, yeah, we so opened it. Everyone's there, and Vanessa's like, I think we could all, we've all noticed that there's there's a couple people missing here. There's an empty couch. Oh, come on out, Colby and Madeline. It's, why did you Whoa. have this big reveal? <laughs> oh, God. Um, <sighs> there's some speculation that perhaps they knew she was pregnant, and that's why they decided to get married mm, right then. Yeah, that makes sense. So I don't know exactly how that timeline lines up, but, I mean, it would kind of make sense. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, hope I hope that baby comes out pure white. And I also think he wanted to lock that shit down. Yeah. Like, he wanted to lock her in. Like, okay, you said you're getting engaged. Well, how about we just get married right now so you don't change your mind? Yeah. And let's just start having babies so you don't change your mind. And I have to say, I I was married, oh gosh, let's see, 2005, uh, just shy of four years when we had our first. Yeah. And that's a huge adjustment. And I have had friends that got married and got pregnant right away and, like, had their baby before their year anniversary or just short after. And they will readily admit it was super hard because it was, like, all this excitement. We're engaged. All this excitement. We're married. All this excitement. Oh, my God. We're expecting a baby. And then all of a sudden, it's like the parties are done. Yeah. 
And now it's real life. Yeah. And it's not just like you two, you two. You two. <laughs> it's having a new baby. And even being married almost four years and having a new baby, it is really hard. Because your life completely changes. You think you're ready and you are not. You get home and you're like, holy shit. And now they both have these this ultimatum thing that oh, they can on top bring, up, bring up every time they fight. Uh-huh. They're like, well, you had sex with Randall. Well, and they have the pressure of, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we forget, forget so easily. Like, Love is Blind. What was that show about? I probably couldn't I name a couple on there. But um, it, they're going to think that they have all this pressure from everyone to stay together because they're the it couple. I mean, they made them yeah, look like true. America's sweethearts on this reunion. Yeah, totally. Like, oh, your love story. It's just, like, so sweet. Yeah, roll the tape of the first episode when Madeline was like, Colby's just, like, so fucking annoying. Yeah. Like, I really, I don't think he's my person. And now it's just like, oh, little silver goblets and <laughs> so yeah, sweet. They get, yeah, they get a little silver goblet. All right, so... Um, and then we have, okay, um, I, I should have said this, or maybe now's a good time. I thought Madeline looked great. Yeah. And everyone else I thought looked like fucking hot garbage. Okay. I think everyone else looked <laughs> terrible. <laughs> what do you mean you can't picture? April had that blonde hair. I watched this like four Doesn't days ago. Her. It's already left my mind. I don't like April blonde. And I don't like how she does her oh, layers. Is blonde, yeah. She has like a, a shorter, it's almost like the Rachel cut. It's like one long layer chin length. And then all of a sudden it just has like a drop in length and then longer layers. It's weird. I just don't like her blonde at all. Zay looked like he was wearing like a baby's baptism suit. To me, like what a baby would wear to its baptism, a baby boy. Is it white? Yeah, yeah. I feel like there was like a vest and a turtleneck. All right, and then got it. Pants or something. Okay. And he was just angry. He was angry, Spice. Oof. <laughs> yes, it was right? pissed. He and was then we real just upset. Oh, what did you think of Jake's hair? Oh God, Jake, no. His hair would never have looked like that if he were in a relationship with someone. Because no woman like, would let so, him do that. Yeah, so like, what do you... So you're, like, gonna take him out in the morning and then it's gonna be really curly from the braids, right? Oh, you know who I thought had the worst dressed was uh, Ray. Ray, that Ray purple, looked terrible, too. Terrible color. And then it had that, like, weird crisscross. It and it was kind of... And yeah, she looked bad. uncomfortable. She was always she like kind of pulling and her hair, she went curly, but it did they needed to like fuss with it a little bit. Like it looked too hairsprayed in one spot. Oh, Zay does look like he's going to a baptism. No, All like right. he is the baby that's being baptized. Also, I could have done without even having the first two couples on the show. I mean, I guess Alexis made a little oh, bit yeah. of a Yeah, it was like, Oh yeah, splash, who are you? But yeah, I'm like, I don't need these other two. Could care less. Yeah, Alexis is just oof. I don't know why. Oh God, what's her guy's name? Andy. Chad. Alex. Chad. Sure. Let's man. Chad. White man. Man. White male. White 40. male. Um, <laughs> yeah, God, I don't know what he sees in her. She just seems awful. And I, I wish they would probably come from like a weird past where like I don't know. There's yeah. something going on there. He's like a Nick Lachey. <laughs> I'll just eat whatever she orders for me. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, why didn't they bring up to him, hey, let's roll the clip where Alexis says she wouldn't be with you if you didn't make the amount of money that you do. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. No, they would, they, like, really... would you be with man, white man, if he weren't making his income? And she's like, no, but don't tell him that. Uh, uh. Okay, cool. And then um, we have, oh, and I also picked up, now I don't want to look look into something that's maybe not there, but it stood out to me that when they asked Alexis, like what she felt about this and how she felt when he proposed and who she was going to kind of choose, you know, if she was going to have to go and live with someone for three weeks. And she's like, well, I mean, 
no offense, Colby, but I know things wouldn't have worked out with you and I. It's like, yeah, because he didn't like you. Yeah, like, stop. She's you don't so need to let him down lightly. With Colby, she you know, cannot get over it. Yeah, but she, she goes, she goes. I really only had Colby and Nick to choose from. Well, she, there were there was Zay and Randall and Jake. Yeah. So is she implying like the only the two white yeah. guys? Did I you mean, catch that too? I didn't catch that, but I mean, I can see Alexis being that much of a shitty person. Okay, well, I hated that. They're saving... Oh, you know what, Alexis? Can I just tell you? Do you have any idea how much money you're saving by his mom being a wedding planner? Bride to bride. <laughs> oh, God. God. Vanessa, you got married like 15 years ago. Shut up. And no God. one out there is thinking like, oh, God, Vanessa and Nick... Just so happy. Well, with our love story, I mean, I always said I never wanted to be a second wife to anyone, but you never know. I mean, like Nick was married before and we just decided we were going to write our own love story. Okay. If you stopped bringing it up, no one would give a shit. I mean, yeah, everyone's going to really, remember you need to get over it. Re- referencing the second wife thing. So every time you bring that up, we're just all remembering yeah. that he used to be married to someone Way more talented, way more successful. Less than annoying, you. and that says a lot. Yeah, I like Jessica Simpson. Her book made me like her. Yeah. Oh God. Um. So. Yeah. So those two are just freaking annoying. Now Jake and Ray. He just seemed. Well, first of all, he seemed like he lost a lot of weight since this show. Yeah, he looked he emaciated. Sickly. Yeah. And very sad. The, and they didn't give enough information either. They're like, yeah, so, like, I started d- dating April again. And she started dating Zay again. It's like, but so what ha- We decided not to go on the trip. But what happened, though? You can't just jump to that. Like, something happened in between that. I think what happened was Ray was like, I think I'm actually going to start dating this girl. And then Jake was like, fuck. So I left April for you kind of but i'm just gonna do my thing i think he really is still grieving this relationship especially because his mom loved april and april yeah. was like bye well, and, and i and, and ray was obviously not over zay because zay he's like say it just say it tell them you were texting me the entire yeah. time which, which I, believe. I believe yeah they were probably sleeping that, together that's why there's a problem here because you can't break up with a significant other that you've been with for that long and it and it just move it never moves on that smoothly yeah. It's just cut and dry on to the next. No, you're going to keep texting each other a little bit. And Ray so. probably wasn't as enchanted with Jake in real life. Right. And so they were both like, we're both only kids. Yeah, we're both half Italian. Remember? Remember that <laughs> remember time that? we're the only child? And I remember the, the time where the, anytime they, they show a clip of them like making out in the bed for the first time, and there's just like, a huge like bottle of Jack Daniels uh, behind them. Like they're just I mean, like you're just drunk the whole time. You're yeah. not in your right mind. And you and you're I both said, like, she just is kind of beige. And so is he. Yeah. I didn't get that. And then Nick and uh the girl with the mousy hair. Like, why are you here? Yeah, I mean, I don't remember anything about them. I don't even want to discuss them. I don't care. Yeah. Bye. It was I liked this show, I would say, the first mm, three episodes. I thought were compelling. Right. I, I'm not even going to say liked it, but they were compelling. Like, oh, yeah, I'm watching it. And then episodes four through seven, didn't need them. Yeah. They could have just cut right to the choice. Yeah. The Honestly, I don't think they need to do that second three weeks back with their original partner. Fuck that. You don't yeah, need any no, of that time. No. Just go, yeah, getting... All of us meeting them, knowing their stories, doing their little blind date things, or, maybe or do five one, minute one dates. Date, one last day with the. Old oh, there you go. Yeah, yes. Three oh, I weeks. Like that. Like, no, three weeks is like too long. Yeah, because now we're just watching normal couples like going yeah. to work and coming home. No one cares. Skip the last three weeks. Go right to the reunion and like get into it and get rid of freaking Vanessa and Nick. Oh, I feel like. Do you think people like her? No. No, there's no way. There's no way. If someone sincerely likes her and was like, <laughs> chuckled at anything she said, please tell us why. She sucks. She's such a condescending asshole. Now, why was she popular before? She wasn't an actress. Was she just like a host? 
Well, yeah, was it like a VJ, maybe? MTV a VJ? VJ. That sounds right. Sure. Was she a model? Like, for, like, Seventeen Magazine, maybe? Sure. I mean, modeling would make sense, because she wouldn't be speaking. Right? God, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but she's really freaking annoying. <laughs> it's almost like she still has that, like, Nickelodeon kid actor thing going on. Oh, sure. You know? Or, oh. She's yeah, the she's just, she's Alfonso not Rivero she's not or Rivero, whatever. How dare but, you? But, he, oh, but oh. he's, like, relevant, I still feel. Oh, yeah. I mean, because he does host him. America's Funniest Home Videos. You're right. Does he? That's cute. Exactly. That's cute. Yeah, That's but cute. I respect, but I madly respect him as an actor and the character. Like, it's very rare to create such an iconic character. Okay. So and what other acting super things? talented. What? Alfonso What other Rivera? acting? Yeah. He created that iconic Okay, role. Carlton, Carlton, but what, what else? I don't know. But you I said as he, an actor. I'm you just know about what? something maybe within the last 20 years. Yeah. Hey, I think he was on Broadway like as a kid, as like a tap dancer. He was like in some tap dancing show. Right, but I'm kid. saying currently. I just didn't know you were such a, hu- not, a huge he Ribeiro dancing. head. <laughs> he was on Dancing with the Stars. I think he got pretty far, too. Okay. Which kind of shows you how washed up he was. No, I'm not I saying... didn't know you were Ribeiro head. Okay. I just respect him and his comedy. And I think he's really talented. And he is a great dancer. He has a great voice. It's hard to move on from a role that you're kind of, you know, it's like Okay, Urkel. so you're an Alfonso Ribeiro head and I'm an Urkel a, head. Uh, what was his name? Was it like Connor Sprouse? Sprouse. I'm a Sprouse head. Is that what his name was? Connor? Colin? Cole and Dylan Sprouse. Cole, Cole Sprouse. <laughs> that's right. Jughead. Wow. All right. Anything else on Ultimatum? No. Let's move on. Let's move on. Everyone move on with our lives. We'll never discuss the Ultimatum again, probably. Till yeah. season two, and I'll be watching it. <sighs> you know the creators are actually like, oh, shit. God, it did well. Fuck. Gotta have yeah, Vanessa back. Yeah, you're dreading Get it. normal looking people on the show and it would be more compelling. Normal people. And also, we don't need hosts. We, we can navigate the show without them. We're good. And let's get, I think Reality Gaze said this. There's no stakes for these people because they're all like 23, 24. Get yeah. people in their 30s. Ooh, yeah. Like their late 30s. who When like their now... biological clock is ticking like this. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Where they would understand that very timely reference I just gave. Uh, hey. <laughs> I, the... I mean, think about this. There are people that probably listen to us that weren't even alive when my cousin Vinny came out. I didn't see that movie until like a few years ago. And I was I was blown away by how good it was. It's so <sighs> good. What's wrong with that? I just didn't see it. You know, uh, that is also, shocking. I always believed the rumor that she wasn't supposed that you know that rumor oh that she like that, improvised it no what that's uh that jack palance read the wrong name at the Oscars, oh that's ringing a bell now but then after i watched the movie i was like oh no she absolutely deserved this yeah like, she's absolutely like i don't know who she was up against that year but she was awesome in that movie I think it was alfonso ribeiro <laughs> no i don't know i just i don't know why you're so like like you don't like him so much. That's the weirder part. Because I've watched America's Everyone Funniest likes Videos Carlton. and he's annoying. Is he? No. Okay. False. I would say everyone likes Carlton, but Alfonso Ribeiro. Okay, Amanda. Let me explain. He stays, he stays you out of separate the way. Separate the actor <laughs> from the character. All right. Like that's like saying you are brown hair, green vest. I mean, I kind of am. <laughs> Stop I'm just, it. I'm just trying to stay out of the way. To our, our background yeah, my... ensemble in Les yeah. Is that what it was, Les the... Mis? Yeah, my favorite part of it was during Bring Him Home, where we all just got to pretend <gasps> to sleep for the entire song. <laughs> I loved it. Jeez. I was really geed at that. I was method acting during that part. Did I you ever just do like a random, like, oh, yawn <laughs> a big, turn over? A big yawn stretch. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and then like a nom, 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 nom. As you settle no, down. We, we all had to sleep on like our boyfriends. Oh. So like every day, like I had we had to, we were like fi- and like my boyfriend was like a I loved him, like we were friends. Okay. But he was he was always fucking with me. And there were days Uh-oh. where I'm like, I'm tired, Thomas. I, please don't like, you know, put your finger like up my nose or something. <gasps> this is happening. Like you just do shit like that. Oh, that would be annoying. 
I'm like, can I just sleep? Give me this yeah. five minutes to sleep. Okay. Anyway. Hey, ironically, listen, that's no? the same thing that Usman said to Kim. Just let me sleep. Get off me. Go away. Uh, but wow. like, I don't know if we're ever going to see Usman and Kim again. I have a feeling we're definitely going to. <laughs> but I just want everyone to take a moment, close your eyes, yep. and reflect on um, the ski slope boob one last time. In the heart dress from Ross. Down and out to the right. Just <laughs> out the door. Her her boob was out the door of that relationship before us yeah. ever was. Yep. Okay, so this tell-all was enraging because every single person is uh-huh. awful. Um, except awful. for maybe two. I think and... Hamza is a good person and I think yes. Johnny is a good person. Yes. And I don't mind Ella. But mm, everyone else, they're bitch and Usman, Kim's out on the street crying and shit because Usman clearly is cheating on her. Yeah. And then she comes back in and she's like, my man, I would never let him cheat on me. If my, some guy was sleeping over at my house, you know, my man would be right here. And I'm like, Usman wouldn't give a fuck if you had uh-huh. a guy sleeping at your house. He'd be thankful. Thank yeah, God. Be, God. Okay, Kim. Um, Kim was the worst, I thought, to me. Kim other than is ben. that girl that wants guys to think she's really cool. Like, oh yeah, she gets it. She's a guy's girl. Cause she's yeah. always on the men's side. Always. Always. And she also does a lot of code switching where she's like, oh, yeah. that's, that's fucked up. Yo, yo, mm-hmm. I would never do that to you. Yeah. So she's just Ugh. learned of Zara in the phone call. So she runs outside and her son's like, they're there, mom. It'll be fine. You don't need him. But, and yeah, then at this point, she looks at the accepted. camera. Wait, but yeah. she looks at the camera at one point and she's like, as far as us men, she does a lot of lick or lip licking too. She's like, I will be addressing this later. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, sure you will. That's exactly what I was going to say. At this point, she's all out on the street. She's already decided in her head, we'll work this out. Uh-huh. We will be working. I'll this. be addressing it. At another time. And then the whole time. The whole time while she's leaving, Usman's like, hello, hello, Kim Bali. Is anyone Kim there? Bali. That Kim, sound went down. They cut Kim, the sound. Kim, I'm, Kim, let me Kim, say something. Kim, 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 <laughs> And then she then, comes in and yeah. she just goes, I'm, I'm at a loss. I, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. And then he goes, listen, 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 Kim, Kim, <laughs> listen. If I can, if I go with Sara, I can fuck Sara if I want. I can fuck anyone I want. Then just like you. And she just, wow. 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 Wow, yo. Wow. And he's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Kim, listen, listen. This is true for you too. You can have sex with anyone you want. But I do not. I would never, never cheat. Yeah. And then she looks at, again, looks at her son in the eyes and says again, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. I'd be like, yeah gross you're my mom and also what do you want me to do yeah and you know who Ugh. you know who else has also said i would never ever cheat every man on earth who has cheated no <laughs> yeah pretty sure if they say that they never go back on their word yeah sure mm-hmm. and that's what seems like a real stand-up yeah. guy also, so, also like a lot of this is the guys just really banding together here oh especially yeah especially during the mic segment oh which is my god cringy to watch because as has been pointed out the cast did not know what a piece of shit Mike was at this point kind of yet. Like, all the shit has not come out yet. So they're all really defending yeah, but him, but even, I'm like, you all look stupid. Even all that stuff aside, why are they not calling him on? Like, y- you met her. They were just yelling at Gino about hiring escorts or whatever you want to yeah. call them. Um, someone to go out to dinner with. He did the same thing. So why is it, like, different? I, I don't understand it at all. But we'll no, we'll it, get there. It's all misguided. It, every every all the sides everyone was taking was the exact wrong side. Oh, always, absolutely. In every situation. But before we get to that, you may want to uh wet your whistle there because Ella, it's time to talk to you. I'm gonna need your Ella voice here. She starts telling us that um her love language is physical touch and two years is a very long time. So she cheated on Johnny, but it wasn't really like cheating. It's just she needed companionship. Dude, but we see her in the episodes tell him, if you don't promise you're coming, I'm going to see other men. 
Well, then do that, but then break it off with him. I mean, sh- sh- okay. Well, Kimberly is like, yo, I have zero respect for you. Like, you broke that man's heart. You broke that man's heart. Like, I can't respect you because you broke that man's heart. I saw it. I saw his face when you told him. I'm like, he didn't seem that upset, really. Well, I think he was upset. I, mean, I saw his face, but... too. He, seemed, he was like, oh. He was just like, no, 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 no. But then, and then Memphis is like, what, do you need to be, like, coddled or something? And I'm like, okay, yeah. Memphis. Y- yeah. Yeah. What? Are, yeah. What are, are, aren't you an adult? Do you just need to be, like, coddled all the time? Valid point. However, Memphis, you've been talking in baby voice for, like, the past yeah. eight months. So I think you should just pipe down over there especially because you're gonna bail out which we'll get to there and yeah a minute. you're gonna have a mild little panic attack when you realize how badly everything's going for everyone else yep. and did you see that hamza's sister did yes. like a yeah and she was yeah. like we were there me and my mom were about to call in and then memphis left yep. so we couldn't yep yep she's Makes not very sense. good at faking it um no. so i I don't like Ella because I do think she twists things around. Even if she were in a stable relationship, she can never admit fault because like she's always just so lonely and I don't know. Because she says to Johnny, well, I mean, would you rather I be honest or would you rather I lie to you? Well, that's not like <laughs> he would rather you not sleep with someone else. It's not like, sure. oh, well, I slept with someone else, but I told you. So, like, you can't be mad at me because I told you. Would you rather me lie to you, Amanda? I, ju- I don't Come on. feel like this is that big a deal because they have never met in person. Right. And this actually. Is not the same. What's as, her like, name? Jasmine or brings up a good point. Well, if physical touch is so important to you, then why do you get into a long distance relationship? Yeah, that's, that's true. Because she could then, find someone locally. <laughs> exactly. Or at least in the States then don't look for someone on the exact opposite side of the planet. But she wants an Asian guy. There's no Asians in the States, by the way. Right. And then this is where they're all like, get dildos, get toys. I was like, oh, Yeah, us was like, get toys, get the toys. And and everyone's, ha ha, Kim, oh, my my man. That's my man. Oh, yeah. Kim's already forgiven him. This guy, this guy over here. You. You. You should hear us when we talk all the time. This This is what he does. Classic Usman. Um, and then, I mean, Sean is like, hmm, let me pose this to you, Ella, because I'm a really good host. What if Johnny cheated on you and slept with someone else? Would you I be thought hurt? Was, I thought this was a great answer. Because she kind of flipped the script and everyone was like, oh. Because uh, she lied? I don't There's I no, believe her. I wouldn't care. You're joking. I'm, you I'm, might... Ella, <laughs> she's like, yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't have even freaked inside, out. So. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. have even freaked out. Come the fuck on. And then Kim's like, no, yo, no, yo, I don't believe that. No, no, yo, 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 I don't believe that for one second because you're the one that did wrong. Yep. And then Jasmine wants to know if she actually cheated. Like I brought I didn't up last like that, week. though, because that was basically her being like, but you're fat, so she might you actually have slept with someone. She might have, but maybe I'm looking into it how I did. Like I thought she was using that as like, like a weapon to guilt him into coming. Sure, but if she wasn't, if she was, yeah, if she looked enough. like Jasmine, Jasmine wouldn't ask her that. Fair enough. Um, but then Ella's like <sighs> deciding: should I say that I lied, or should I say that I slept with them? <laughs> Yeah, I did. You're, you're right. I and then did. she does her her crying that you do. I was upset and vulnerable. <laughs> okay. Um, and then Sean asks if she's been faithful ever since. And she says yes. And Sean's like, what about your birthday? Oh, zinga! She got what her. about my birthday? <laughs> well, I had this guy, friend, that he flew in and he stayed at my place because it was late at night. What are the chances this guy was Asian? Oh, they said he was. Oh. She said, I met him on an Asian yeah, man, Asian, yes. white woman app. <sighs> but not a dating app, a friendship app. Uh, an Asian man, white woman friendship app. And Johnny's like, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And she goes, oh, do you not remember the whole conversation we had about it, Johnny? Do you not remember that? 
He's like, no, no, I don't. And she's like, oh, you must have misunderstood because you don't speak English. They'll come back to bite you in the listen, ass later, Ella. I believe that if he moved here and they got married, there would not be any problems. I think True. they would probably be happy she wouldn't cheat on him. I do believe that she's just horny as fuck and she's lonely and she's not sure. And he keeps she's changing the date. She's clingy and annoying. Yeah. But also she's unsure. Unsure of what? Of like him. him. He keeps boot pushing the date back. She doesn't know when she's going to see him. She's freaking out. I just find really someone don't see why everyone's, in the everyone states at least. I don't deal. know. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I just have to say, it proved Memphis's point when she's like, "Okay, do you need to have adults coddling you all the time?" Because they're like, "Okay, let's go for a break. Let's have lunch." And Sean comes over, yeah. and she's like, "They're there, they're patting there. your shoulder." You okay? You okay? And a PA and then, is like, oh, "Should we get you some lunch or something?" Yes, I okay. have lost my appetite. <laughs> and then she calls Johnny. And he's yeah. like, no, 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 baby, baby, we will, we will get together, we will get married. Uh, she's like, I just love this man. I just love to have a good It's birthday. okay, baby. You be strong. I love you so much. It's okay, baby. It's oh, okay, I baby. I love you too. You're just so great. I just wanted a good birthday for <laughs> Thank once you for saying in that. my life. <laughs> Thank you. That was my favorite line of the entire talk. I just want a really good birthday. That that is one that's a, it, where I agree oh. with Memphis. Where I'm like, you're 29. I oh birthdays my God. are nothing. Yeah, I feel like after it's you're not 21, yeah, it's a day during the year. You're you're a grown up now. Yeah. Bye bye birthdays. Yeah, I'm turning 40 next year, and I'm already stressed out because I feel like I need to do something. I'm like, I don't really want to. I just Can think I just, it's like, so late. Red Lobster it's just like a really good birthday. Oh and then God. and then she's and then they hang up and he's like, okay, bye, baby, I love you. And then she's like, I love that man so much. <laughs> I know. He's a great man and he loves me and I'm sure that we will be getting married and having kids in exactly three years. So <laughs> yeah. So she just got bombarded by everyone. If that was me, I would keep my. My lip zipped oh, for the zippy entire lippy. rest yep. of the... That's the and thing then... I don't understand with these people. They all have opinions after they've already been just decimated. I know. Well, then in the background, like right behind the sheet behind her, there's Kim and Gino and Mike all just trash talking her. And Kim's like, yo, I mean, I've been upset sometimes. There's been times when Usman has pissed me off so bad I threw the phone. So she needs to own her shit, yo. Okay, so exactly, you have exactly, your relationship too. exactly. So you like, have a dysfunctional relationship that has yeah. what to do with Ella? Yeah, her owning and her also, shit has what to do with segment, you being mad at him? Yeah. I think three times in this tell all, Sean Robinson goes, "Are you okay?" <laughs> Sean Robinson was pissed. <laughs> Walter's been like doing this weird reverse <laughs> coughing all day. It's <sighs> but Sean Robinson will go, "Wow, well, yep. I don't think we're gonna resolve this today." Let's take a break. <laughs> so, then, so after the cast has all been screaming at each other, yeah, it's just it, now it's just a clean slate, and they just sit in there like, Moving "Wow, on. That, was, that was rough, guys." Huh? Mm-hmm. Who's was next? Like, yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen with Mike and Hamena, huh? Just, like, you guys were all just screaming at each other. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Then we go back to Gino and Jasmine for a little bit about the photos that he sent. Yeah, I'm kind and of already over it. He's like, I was just trying to exact revenge on my ex, and that's why I selected a group of photos, but there were, I, there was accidentally three photos in that, or one photo in that group. Okay, whatever. See, look here, there's a lie with too much information right there. Mm-hmm. Right? And, uh, like, he, he, he's he been thinking of this for, like, weeks. Of yep. per- How exactly could I have accidentally... No, 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 Gino. You did text... Yep. A picture. Text. Uh-huh. Picture. And then Sean Robinson goes, wow. Wow. Gina, Jasmine mm-hmm. just said to us, you did text picture. Text picture. I was like, is this the content we're mm-hmm. getting? <laughs> no, that is not accurate. No. I don't think we're going to resolve this today. So, you know wow. who we should, who probably has some answers for us? Pastor Ben. Yeah. Ben As says pastor, he feels like, a lot of people. yeah, he can help Gino. As an ex-pastor, I counseled a lot of couples and I've seen a lot of patterns. And then he tells us that, or he tells Kim that from how he sees things with his pastor counseling past, it seems like Usman has a type. And she just needs to let the past go. 
just let all that go and just look towards the future. And he kind of shades her too, because he's like, you know, you know, like, you know, if he's, you're not worried about him going after thin, pretty young girls because he has yeah. a type and it's you, which is the opposite of that. Yeah. Uh, and also all of his advice, like he, I canceled many couples. I guarantee you a hundred percent of those counselings were unsolicited. Oh, for sure. And they walked <laughs> yeah. out of there being, or at least the woman walked out of there being like, yeah, being like he fuck fucking took guy. his side. Of course he's going to take his side because it's the fucking yep. man taking the man's side. 100%. And they're like, oh, just pray on it. Let's pray together. And then when he tells Kim that she just needs to let the past go, well, great. If that were true, that people could just let the past yeah. go, that would have been be no written divorces. in stone yeah, <laughs> thousands of years ago and everyone would have a perfect relationship. Speaking of Ben, Ben and Mahogany. 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 Yeah. Right. So (laughs) the entire cast goes in on her. I get it. She's weird. She has a weird affect. She's not a good actress. There's just like an unlikability about her. English is better than Sean Robinson's English. (laughs) Yeah, it's better than our (laughs) English. And the whole time, Mahogany is just, the whole time, it's just, she's just Mm. always posing at the camera. Just like, Mm -hmm. just, she's not even here. And I love that, like, she's already ready to get the fuck out of this relationship. Oh my God, So she's like, I need to, like, her wheels are spinning How you say. He is liar. He's a liar. And it's sad. It's very sad. It's very sad. Yeah. The entire cast goes in on her that yeah. she wasn't at the airport. They're all like, oh, oh, awfully rich of Mike to say, I would have yeah. gotten on the plane and I went right back home. I probably would have just gone home. And then Gino's oh, like, really? I actually probably would have stayed and looked around for her. I really <laughs> exactly. And then Ben's like, yeah, Gino. And they fist bump. I'm like, yeah, great team there. A stalker to stalker, superhero yeah. fist bump. Go. Yeah. God, I mean, it, insane. Did you not just hear her say, I told him not to come? Well, I told Jasmine him, don't come. That. She's like, you went there. She said she was not interested. Yeah. To me, it gives me pervert vibes. And then all the guys just go, ha, 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 ha. You. It's not funny. She Hilarious. called, she said it gives pervert vibes. Yeah. Not funny. Not True. funny at all. Now, Jessica, friend Jessica calls in. Yeah. And she starts asking Mahogany, my hero. mahogany about the thousand dollars at first at first she annoyed me but obviously towards the end i was like okay and the thousand dollars was like well you sent her a thousand dollars oh what I'm like, it's a thousand dollars i mean a thousand dollars is a good amount of money but yeah it's a thousand dollars. i mean we've seen other people on the show send like twenty thousand like love after 50, lockup th- yes yeah look at that and sean robbins is like wow ben yeah. Did you send her a thousand dollars? And, and Malagani was like, "No, it's uh, it's uh, how you say it was a loan with uh, varying rates of interest level." <laughs> Perfect English. Yeah. And Jessica says, "Why didn't you ask your parents for a loan?" I'm like, "You are so short sighted to just Im- assume that these people have that money." Yeah. As well. Yeah. But Jessica is, you can tell she is drop, uh, drama. She loves the drama. Otherwise, she would not be on this show. But when she starts calling Ben out, he was, oh, his asshole yeah. was clenched. Well, it gets that. weird. Okay, it does get weird before that. First of all, Ben calls himself out here. Okay, so this is where the friction between Jessica and Ben starts rubbing because he's obviously told her, oh yeah, I gave her a thousand dollars. And then Mahogany is like, oh, well it was a loan. And then Ben himself goes, I mean, it was a, listen, it was two or three months of us texting and it was worth the money because it felt like love. Okay. So that sounds gross. It was worth the money. Again, how is this any different than Gino then? it's It's no different whatsoever. So not only is he saying like, okay, it's worth the money. Well, obviously then you've been lying to Jessica because you were bitching about it. And then we find out that he went back to Peru after all of this. She left you in the middle of the desert. She won't let you know her home address. She lies about going to the University of Excellence. And he goes goes to Peru and he goes to her twice during this visit. And he just, oh, she goes to him twice. twice. Yeah. She goes to him twice. During this visit, he finds her on the beach. Yep. Happens She's across from the, the bar. She's like, fuck. And then she left again. She left her hotel room, whatever, cleared out her room again. But then 
he's like, oh, I was going to meet her the next day and I was going to, we were going to have a talk and I was going to end things with her. Oh, oh, you were. Oh, you You were going to decide that you're going to end things. But then Maugani said that she loved him. And then we see them like cuddling in the park and like, "Mm." and he predicts that they're going to get married this same time at this same park next year. What the hell happened? Because she was cuddling up on him. She was. But then, but now she has like an in. She's like, he said he would come. No cameras. And now I see there was cameras. And he is a liar. And it is sad. (laughs) It is very sad. It's sad. It's very sad, Benjamin. As she's smiling. It's sad. So what was that? Oh, it's mahogany. It's mahogany. Again, she's fucking weird. She's weird. She's weird, yeah. She's a weirdo. It's fine. She probably finally got that text. It was like lost in cyberspace. The text uh-huh. about them dancing. And she's like, oh, oh the oh, train ride. That got her. <laughs> that got, got her. All right. Kim tells Ben that he has the worst relationship there. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, Jasmine says he gives her pervert vibes because he chased a young girl around the world true and then jessica does ask the question that never gets answered mahogany what is in it for you like why are you you doing this and she then twists it and says well if we're going to talk about that she goes no 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 because she can't think of an answer for it i want to say something i want to say because benjamin told me that you love drama She's like, I have a husband and I work 70 hours a week, okay? I don't like drama. Like, she had that then, 70 hours right yeah, on the tip of her tongue. Locked and loaded. And Ben <laughs> is doing, like, the whole, like, oh, mm. you silly woman, Jessica. This is the drama. Or he's thinking. He's thinking deeply, just staring, kind of squinting a little bit. Mm. He says, yes, all of that is true, and you are dramatic. But, however, if I was Jessica, I would be beyond pissed if i had this fucking loser ass friend Uh constantly coming to me for advice and then i find out that he's talking shit about me Uh uh-huh i would i would have this exact same reaction when she called him a narcissist because narcissist yeah she goes uh well first of all ben i want to say you're fake and you're a narcissist and you're delusional and mahogany i'm sorry because now i realize how two-faced ben is ben you're a fraud you're a narcissist and a fraud and a shitty friend and he's like So Jessica, what's the problem? Wait, just... wait, but what's the problem though, Jessica? And she's like, I have nothing to, no, I have mm. nothing more to say to you. And he's more like, oh, it makes me really sad to hear you say that. Like, it, it's like this condescending. Yeah, such a stupid piece of shit. <sighs> I just really wish that you would pray to your higher power about this and see Ugh. what it is inside of you, Jessica, that's making you react in this way. And this is where we start seeing Memphis just sigh, like, <sighs> Because she knows oh, she's up she's next. Like, so she's like, okay, now, next. okay, TikTok, I got to start working on this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they go to break and she's like, I- I'm going to go get something. They weren't my even head, at break here. My she head's goes, banging something. and the and the yeah. lights are making it worse. Yeah, it's just okay. too much. It's too much. She, says, she keeps saying it's just too much. Like, this is all against her. Mm-hmm. Like, this is too much, guys. Come on. This is too yeah. much. Oh, and they do also talk about um, the gino text with jessica but that went nowhere because they don't hold him accountable obviously she's obviously he's lying and she's not lying yeah like she's looking to get some some yeah, attention gino from D. gino yeah exactly <laughs> she wants gino to spread her picture around the internet and, sure. J- and then jasmine's like you are lying you deleted it and doctored it so it looked like he sent you text first i'm like oh mm-hmm. my god the fact that gino is able to manipulate jasmine <sighs> is so sad i know um okay so then backstage while memphis is pretending to throw up and have a headache kim tells mike that she's had tons of women ask her about Mike. So she's going to, she'll yeah, set you up, call. bro. Give me a call. It's like, I oh, got lots your, of ladies. The quality of friends that Kim has. She's got <laughs> friends like in Sherman's. Cali. Yeah. She'll take San care Diego. of them. San Diego. All right. So now Mike and Jimena. Mike is so disgusting this entire time because he, he puts on this like, and he's like rubbing his brows. Like I needed him to so stop for me. doing that. Take your hand away from your face. I could just feel like zits forming because he wouldn't <laughs> stop touching his head. Because like, that's the male version of trying to muster up tears that you really don't have. And he's trying to look like this poor little innocent victim. Little like, birdie. Mm. Have we talked about when Memphis came to Sean and said, I'm finally leaving? Yeah. So this is exactly where she comes in. 
where it yeah. completely changed, wearing her coat. She's yeah. out the door. Sean's like, what's wrong? And she goes, you know, I'm just sick, you know, headache, throwing up. <coughs> so she I'm does leaving. like a fake cough. Just, just, you know, ambiguous sickness. And then poor Hamza has to walk in there like on the first day alone, like the new kid. like Yeah. <sighs> Just left there by himself. She's such a fucking liar. Yo, she's of course she's like she just she did not want to be held over. She couldn't the take the cold. heat. No. Nope. nope. Um. So why do you think that is? Do you? Th- I mean, if you go on Reddit, people are like, oh, it probably wasn't Hamza's baby. That's why she was so insistent that they had to have sex because she was already oh, pregnant. Oh, that's actually. I don't know. Well, I always thought the timeline of her pregnancy was weird because she was only there for. Three weeks and she was already pregnant. It was already yes. showing up on a test. Right. Um, I uh, I don't know. Because she's posting a lot of things just recently in the past couple of days that, have, yeah. that are all narcissist. Like when yeah. you're in a relationship with a narcissist, narcissistic abuse, the narcissist prayer, all this kind of stuff. I don't see narcissism from Hamza. I don't think he's no, I don't smart either. enough to be a narcissist. I think he probably wanted some reciprocation from her. Sure. Some respect. And she, yeah. And she saw that as like, I'm giving and giving and giving. Like, what do yeah. I get? Yeah. Uh, I, so I don't know. I think he might have gone back. I don't know. Uh, he is back right now for Ramadan. Okay. Oh, no. Ramadan was February, right? Because Ramadan is when Adnan, the Adnan thing happened. <laughs> right? Okay, well... End of end of February. So I think he's back here now, though. Well, we didn't even get to know if he got a green card or... The he does have a green card. He does for sure? He does, yes. Oh, wow. Well, that was really quick then. Yeah, probably because they were... have a baby. It's probably sped ahead, of, I guess, a bit. Oof. That's not good. Not I good. feel bad for him. Well, now we're all going to just, like, yeah. drag Jimena. As, like. Yep. We're going to wrap Mike in a little swaddle, a little baby Mikey, Mm. (laughs) and just beat up on Jimena like a freaking pinata here because he's just sitting there. Every single person in the cast. Mike is a great man. I can see them. Even even, um, Usman is like, I don't cry very often, but my man, I am crying. (laughs) And then Ella goes, Ella, Jimena, do you understand that relationships are two ways <laughs> fuck you ella did you do you remember the conversation where you were messing around on your boyfriend you barely got out of that so shut up um and then mike and nelsie come out all right so and then uh, i mean it was pretty immature she's pretending like she doesn't hear nelsie she's playing that. i think it was pretty funny <laughs> I think it was that. also and I mean, it was funny, the whole but... time too though is being a hundred percent honest exactly like, i told him i didn't love him i broke up with him three thousand yes. times and she said you know, he gave me a again. hand up yes yeah. he gave me a hand up do you love him no like, yeah, I'm not. Like, I'm not in love with him. And they're like, "You treated him badly." And she goes, "Yeah, no, I did. I agree. I can't lie. I, I treated him badly." And they're like, "Oh, because him. he toots on you, because he farts on you." And she goes, "It's not like we've been together for years." I'm and with that's her. the that's the point of that exactly. It's and then Mike just giggles. He's like, "Oh," and they're all like, "Mike, it's okay. Everyone farts, Mike. It's okay. Don't worry about it." I have friends in California that would love to have you fart on that, Mike. I'll set you up, yeah. yo. Seriously. God. Also, Mike's choice of outfit was so unflattering. Ugh, I he knew was wearing he wear. the outfit that Michael wears to the dinner party <laughs> on the office. Yes. Right? Oh, you're dressed like the cater waiters. Yes. <laughs> um, so then Mike is he's rubbing his forehead, rubbing his forehead, and then he yells at Nelsie to shut up. And I, I wish was, they would have <gasps> spent more time on that. Because yeah. the way he said it, he would never have yelled at a man like that. He goes, Nelsie, no. shut up. And then she goes, don't tell I'm me to shut up. Hus- and he goes, I can't believe her husband didn't say something about that. And then he did like this, this little, like, shush, then like go, this little go, go, swatty way. He goes, then just leave. Fuck you. You, you, you brought me into this. Yeah. You got me into it. You called me there. You wanted me to tell her things. So now I'm in it. And don't ever speak to me like that again. So oh, it was no, good. Would, like, oh, she got up and left. God. Yeah, um, I would be so pissed. Also, his friend has a, uh, what, lips, lips. tattooed on? Bad. And the friend looks a rough. Yeah, it looks he like he hasn't like slept in weeks. Yeah. He's not doing And he's great. like, oh, Jimena, I have a question for you. 
would you want your sons to be in a relationship where a woman would treat them this way? And she's like, God, no. No. Again, what? she's being honest. Yeah. No, I wouldn't want them like, in a relationship he, he staying, where they are so paying a woman. Yeah. Um, and then they're like, Mike, tell her. Tell her what you really want, Mike. Mike, just tell her. You need oh. to be honest with her. But then, but also his I friend says, this. Mike, if you, God forbid, like got in an oh, accident, yeah. you couldn't make your money, she's gone. And then Mike's like, Jimena, is, is that true? true? <laughs> yes, it's true. Of course it's She has true. told you. She doesn't yeah. even like you now with two functioning legs. Yeah. Of course. And a job. <laughs> so they're like, oh, just tell her what you really want. And he, ew, does this like little boy giggle. And he's like, I want her to learn English. <laughs> That's all. I'll Just help poor you. little me. I'll help you. And then it shows like He's Usman like, or someone me, going, Aw. I you to me. I you to I, I help you. Yeah, whatever. And then Ella goes, Oh yeah. Himena. I swear to God, she like snaps. She's like, Himena, see? Learn English. Learn English. Nuevo New York. Nuevo <laughs> Nuevo York. Yeah. Um, Ella, shut up. Yeah. I would Go love to know how many Chinese Mandarin right lessons yeah. that you have. And yeah, also, isn't she into, like, anime? Isn't that, like, Japanese or Korean, not even Chinese? Uh, I'm not even going to speculate on that. Okay, I don't, I don't even know for sure, but I'm just going to say that's not out of the realm of possibility. So Mike is, like, giggling at himself, like, <laughs> he, he, he's Has doing, like... Has she left and come back yet? Mm, has she? I don't remember. Because did you notice when she comes back, she's wearing a completely different outfit and new hair? Yes. Hearings? I couldn't decide whether it was like, a, I'm not going to wear this home or she was like, I couldn't decide which outfit I was going to wear. So I'm going to do like, I'll throw this one on now. Oh, I almost felt like she's at her own house and she was like, fuck this. I'm going out to the club now. Oh, she no, started getting she ready. was at a hotel. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Cause then I think weird. she's taking a cab home later or something. Um, so Mike says that he hopes everyone heard. I hope everyone heard that. She said she was gonna try to learn English, right? <laughs> I just want to make sure he's doing his little likable. And then Ella's, and Ella's like, like yeah. "We heard. No, we all just want it to be true. We all hope it works out. And we're all yeah. here for you, Mike. Right, guys? Right?" She's like trying to do this cheerleader thing, yeah. and no one's and going Kim, along with Kim's it. Like, Kim's like, "Yeah, if things don't work out, bro, we're all yeah. gonna be down there with you." We're all. I'm like, "What the fuck are you gonna do?" I got ladies lined up in Cali for you, bro. Yeah, I got a bunch of old biddies lined <laughs> up for you. They all look like Hanna Barbera. My older, too. my older sister Julia Singo, yo. <laughs> um, and then we get Ben, who's like, um, as a ex pastor, I just want to say I think the men this season have been really weak. You know, they're dealing with some strong personalities from women, and uh, I just worry that tonight might have killed any possibility of a relationship with Mahogany. <laughs> Your I... face when you do it is hilarious. <laughs> what did I do? You... You just really have to, well, just in order for Mau anyone gani. to say it like, yeah, Mau gani. <laughs> you really got to kind of form your mouth Accentuate the, the yeah. mouth muscles. I love him. God, he's such a, mm, that strong personalities, yeah. those women with their. Cody Brown, he's Cody Brown. Sense of, I don't know, personality and pride. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> their learnings. <sighs> And it might have been tonight that killed that relationship with Maogani. Nothing else. Just yeah, everyone yeah. ganging up on her. Ugh. So now we just learned that Hamza wants his mom to come live with them in the States. Yeah. Wonder if that it might have something to do with that relationship falling apart. Because I'm sure oh, Memphis yeah. wouldn't be thrilled to have. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, have uh, Mamza move in. Uh, Kim keeps pretending to be like the cool girl like I, I just had a really good night but no tears you guys no tears at all i mean <laughs> i might cry when i get this makeup off tonight you don't even know what's underneath this makeup i know i look good now yo but when i get back to the hotel room Ugh. i might cry i might cry but no cry like right like we're all bros bros before hoes am i right yeah, she's Why does totally, she, yeah, she, that? she totally thinks that she's a guy's gal. I didn't see her interact with any other female there. Other than yelling at Ella. Yeah. So, sorry, yo. I just don't have any respect for you at all, yo. Mm -mm. Like, she really like never talked to Jasmine. No. Or Maogani, really. She was on all the guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she's got to be the cool girl. Ella says that she had a great time. Well, not a great time, but I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. Well, then you're a fucking idiot because you came off... As a cheating, 
clingy, annoying bitch. I think she did. Sorry. Uh, I liked her. He's like, I don't regret it at all. And Johnny and I are we're the most stable ones here. I mean, it's I actually years, believe that they famous. are though, Jody. I think that those two are the two best people. Like neither one of them are bad people. Whereas in every other couple, there are bad, almost both of each person is bad. If they're stable, it's because they never have, like, actual conversations. No, Johnny speaks pretty good English. I don't think it goes that deep with them. I really don't. I I, I would love to see that they make it work somehow. <sighs> I I want more for Johnny. Yeah, I think I she is going to want Stoney. him. Yeah. I think she's going to want him here and want his attention 24-7. Yeah, that's true. true. She's not going to be able to handle him with the sun. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, And then Mike calls Jimena. And this I have to, I have to think. I haven't been in a relationship where someone has been manipulative and possibly abusive. But I would have to imagine this is every conversation that any relationship... (laughs) that is abusive has where the most likely man calls up their partner who they just had a fight with and says, I just want to call you and tell you, I love you. You and I, we work alone. We're a team. No one else. Just you and me. It's just you and me. No one else. Te amo. And then he does what I hate the most. You know, I I hate hand hearts. He does like half a heart. And then she does half a heart. Oh, God. And he does that, like, little boy giggle again. Like, <laughs> just little me. And you can tell she Mikey. hates doing it. She's just, like, her vagina's clenched up. Oh, she's, she's like, okay, it. bye. Mwah, ciao. Well, she's like, yeah, giggle. ciao. Love Ugh. you. I love you very much. I have to put up a fucking hand heart? Yeah. No. That is so gross. That's the opposite of sexy or loving. Ugh, it's just so just frustrating. This. When you and I person... work alone, you and I against the world. We don't need yeah. anyone else. You don't need your family and friends. It's just us. Just you and I against the world. That's so fucking messed up. Yeah, see, Bacon Fingers wasn't actually like that. He was very much like, I want to get to know all of your friends and family. To, and like, he put on like, Oh, he's that nice kind guy. of psycho. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, he just like, everyone liked him. Okay. Like, he pretended to encourage me to do stuff. Ooh, while see. then giving me backhanded comments about it. Okay. See, other... I can't go into detail here on the public one, but other close people in my life's yeah. relationships that ended were very much that. Like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Let's get rid of all the outside noise, like yeah. friends and family. And so it's really like no one else can tell them what I'm really doing. No one else can make them open their eyes and see what's going on. If it's just well, you and I, yikes. Did, uh, does regular 90 Day Fiancé start next week? Then? I believe so. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. I know new season, new people. We're going to be watching, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah why and this, not? Will this be your first actual 90 Day live Live. Time? Yeah, I think it. I think it is. I think it is. Now, I have to say this season, I feel like it started great, and then it was just like a, uh, it was kind of a slow fizzle towards the end. I mean, I we still had it. some great. We still had some great people. I mean, like the Mike and Jimena. For the record, yeah. I'm Team Jimena. I think most of us are Team Jimena now. I don't know about that. A lot of people are still like angry if you're team that she Mike, you used to him. Keep... But, but she, she admitted. I know used exactly him. what she did, but she was honest with it, and he knew it, and he was okay with it. And Justin's like, Jimena, love. do you love him? And she's like, No, and she's like, oh, She admitted it. Yeah, so we should be giving her a round of applause. She's admitting yeah. it. I always <laughs> like when the people of, like, the other, uh, like, not Americans talk to each Translate, other. Because I always yeah. think it's kind of sweet. Like, when Jasmine and her were talking, I thought that was kind of nice. But then Jasmine's like, oh, yeah. okay, so, Mike, what she just told me, she does not love you. She just said that right to me. <laughs> she just told me that she thinks you're annoying and you look like an owl and that you pick your nose and you fart on her <laughs> and you stare at her bug. when she sleeps. Yeah. <laughs> But yet they still feel badly for him, which is insane. Wrong side of history, people. Okay, so obviously we're probably going to see Mike on The Single Life. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'll be in for that, for sure. I would love to see Hamza on The Single Life. Wouldn't that be great? I think he he would do just fine. Oh, I mean, he's sexy, baby. Yeah, he's sexy, baby. Uh, Ben. 
That can be interesting. I don't interesting. want to ever see Ben again. Kim? <sighs> yeah, I mean, it would be hilarious. It could go two ways with Kim. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's such a mess. Yeah. She might be more likable when we don't have her with Usman, though. Maybe we'll get to see more like sexy blind... movies. Oh, God. <laughs> or with her single friends. Single ladies night. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a crossover between a mic and Kim scene. Oh, and, like, her God. setting them up. Setting up her Kim can have her own, friends. like, matchmaker show. Oh, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, the way... Her... Her perception of things would be so great. Like, I'm sure she could pick up on personality traits of people who are sure. very compatible. Judgment. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, that does it, guys. Hey, yeah. leave us a five-star review. That'd be great. That would be amazing. And take a look in the show notes if you're interested in Patreon. We're recapping Teen Mom 2 and Vintage Sister Wives episodes. We're in season two now. And we released an episode of... Uh, workaholics on Total Request Podcast. Apparently, uh, one of the most favorite episodes, We Be Clowning. Yeah. And little Bebe Amanda's <laughs> tiptoe into Real Housewives of New Jersey. She's yeah, in. Yeah, she assigned me one episode and I bought the whole freaking season. Yep. So check that out. We'd be very appreciative. Anything else, Amanda? No, Amanda. Let's okay. everyone have a great weekend. Have, have a, a good Friday. Weekend. It's Holy Thursday today. Oh. It's the feet washing. Oh, have you gone to church yet? Or is that gonna be tonight? Oh uh, yeah, no, I yeah, no, I, I went to a couple this morning, but I'm also going to one later. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for the yeah. evening service. Yeah. Just like get into my element. I like to really make myself suffer. Uh, all right guys, we'll see you next week. Uh bye bye.